¿Qué tal amigos? Nos encontramos aquí con Nicolas Cage. Nick, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Good. Now tell me, your original name is Nicolas Capola. Who chose Cage? Uh, that would be me. That would be you? Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, without mentioning any names, it, it became very clear to me early on in my career as a, as a young actor. I began when I was 15 that uh, there were uh, uh, people that didn't believe, because I was related to Francis Coppola, that I, uh, I had any business being there as an actor. And when, I, when enough people tell you that, uh, it can get in your head. So I decided to change my name so I didn't have to deal with that, so that I could go on casting interviews and, and that they wouldn't know who I was at all and still get the part, for me, was important for my confidence. Awesome. Now, in this uh, new movie, what kind of challenge did you find as an actor most challenging? Uh, the most challenging sequence in this movie for me was the platform sequence where we're all trying to balance the board because that got into math and physics and math has never been my strong point and I was trying to figure out how to deliver the lines and understand the the physical geometrical uh, equation as to if I step here, that moves up there, and, and then act and understand what I'm talking about. What was that? Was that a green screen? What, well, what then, was that? we were actually up there on, on a, a balancing, we call it a balancing beam or mm -hmm. board, and they would, someone had a control, and they would move it around, and it would slide and go in different directions, but we were genuinely oh, wow. on it. Yeah. Wow. It would make a good ride. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It looked yeah. kind of fun. I was like, wow, that looks so interesting. Now, in most movies, you always seem to have special powers. Like in the vampire movie, you're a vampire. In Silly of Angels, you're an angel. In this one, you seem to always have like the right thing to say or the, the right answer to questions. Do you find yourself like that in real life to find quick you know, puzzles? Do you like puzzles and stuff like that? Uh, not particularly. I, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm very human, and I often say the wrong thing. Uh, I think Ben Gates's strength, though, is, uh, is, his, is his intelligence and his knowledge of history. And he knows it. And he knows that he, he can pragmatically put up a grid in his mind of different historical events chronologically and, and select the right clue to match the event in history. And I think that's, that's like a superhero power, which is, is, which is fun to watch. Uh, now, you mentioned a vampire movie, uh, Vampire's Kiss, I assume you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that well, was That guy funny. was nuts. <laughs> yes, he was. I don't think he had any powers, but he was just nuts. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> was. It was very funny, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I'm glad you remember that movie, though. I like that movie. Yeah, I'm a fan also of Maria Conchita. Oh, uh, really. yeah, well, she's, uh, I have to say hello. She's great. Yeah, she's very, very nice. Yeah. Will we be seeing you in anything soon? Uh, this I is it. This is it for a while. I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, everything is kind of upside down right now, so we'll see. Anything you want to tell your Spanish viewers before we go? I would just simply like to say Feliz Navidad to all the Spanish viewers out there. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Feliz Navidad. Thank you very much.